Well, Emmanuel, I'm super excited to be here in Colorado with one of our strategic church planning partners, Justin McKay. You know Justin because he we consider him part of our family. He and Lacey, of course, Lacey, uh, it is her home church, and Justin was with us for a long time as a staff member. Uh, I'm delighted to be here with you. It's great to have you. Excited to uh, speak to your church tonight. I'm going back to Emmanuel, and uh, so I love the church. I know you do as well. Yeah. What does the partnership with the people of Emmanuel mean to you and to Lacey and to the local yeah. church? It means everything. We love Emmanuel, and when we first started out doing this and talking with Jeff and at the time Kelly Hale, uh, we couldn't envision planting a church without Emmanuel, and so we uh, kept asking and kept um, just partnering with them, communicating every step of the way, even before the church was a reality. And we knew that having a manual part of this was going to be a huge catalyst, a huge encouragement. How else can we be praying for you, supporting you in these days? What do you, if you had to just name a couple of things to be praying specifically for, what would they be? I think two things. Number one, um, we encounter spiritual warfare every single day. Um, we say around here, once you declare that you're planting, well, church planting is a declaration of war. Uh, basically, you know, just think of Ephesians 6, you know, and so there are, uh, spiritual factions that do not want us to succeed. And so just pray that we equip ourselves with the armor of God every single day, that we're spirit-filled, and that we can persevere through just the spiritual warfare. And number two, pray desperately for the people that we are um, praying for that they would follow Jesus. We have lots and lots of people that we know that we're praying desperately for, sharing the gospel with, building relationships. But it is only the Spirit of God that can change their hearts. Mm -hmm. And just pray that as He pursues them, they're receptive and they have softened hearts to respond. And so we just ask that would there be a movement of people praying for the people that we're building relationships with and sharing the gospel? Because that's that's how we're going to see the kingdom grow is a, just a culture of prayer in our church and with our partners. I love it. I love you guys. I love what you're doing here. Uh, one of the things exciting to Cheryl and I, uh, to Cheryl and me, one of the things that was exciting to us, even coming back to Emmanuel, was the partnership here. Mm -hmm. uh, we're committed to you. We'll Thanks. be back uh, many times. Uh, next time we're going to explore a little more, but we're super <laughs> excited to be here. Uh, God bless you, and we'll Thanks. be praying for you. Thanks, Emmanuel. We love you.